This Sunday morning we are gathered here in this place to celebrate one of the things that is far beyond our understanding. We are here this Sunday morning to celebrate resurrection. The resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Something that is really beyond our understanding. Something that is so complex for us as human beings to try to internalize and to try to understand. Difficult indeed. And I also think that without Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Saturday, there is no celebration of Easter Sunday. And I think in order to really try to grasp what God is trying to tell us from the cross, we need to go back and reflect a little bit about the events that preceded this Easter Sunday. For if we remember, this all began on Passover, Holy Thursday. Jesus gathered with his disciples in the upper room, and there in the upper room, he washed their feet. An incredible deed indeed. For you see, only the slaves and only the servants wash the feet of others. And in this moment, Jesus was lowering himself and serving those that were gathered in that room. There he began to talk about salvation. And there he began to share his self and gave to the disciples his body and his blood telling them that he would never, ever abandon them. That all that he was doing, he was doing for them and for us. I don't think we really understand the magnitude, the suffering and the pain the anxiety that Jesus was facing at that particular time. For you see, the le he left the upper room and with the disciples he went to the Garden of Gethsemane. And there he knelt down and prayed. And there we begin to see how much Jesus was really suffering for you and for me. And at Gethsemane we see Jesus raising his hands and raising his head and praying to God the Father and saying, God, Father, if it is your will, take this pain away. Take the suffering away from me. And at that garden of Gethsemane, he was betrayed, and he was taken prisoner. And when we walk into the mornings of Good Friday, where we see Jesus being tried, first by Pilate, a Pilate who turns to Jesus and says, Are you king of the Jews? And Jesus responds, for so you say. And the crowds were gathered around Jesus and around Pilate in the courtyard and were yelling and were screaming, crucify him, crucify him. Pilate turns to the crowd and says, wait a minute, I don't find anything that this person has done wrong. I don't find any guilt in Jesus. And they continue to scream out, Crucify him! <coughs> Crucify him! Now trying 
to be slick. Pilate sends Jesus to Herod and says, let Herod take care of this. And so Jesus is submitted to trial among his own peers, among the Jews themselves. And Herod turns to Jesus and the crowds continue to yell out, crucify him, crucify him. And back to Pontius Pilate goes Jesus. And Pontius Pilate tells the crowd, I still don't see anything wrong that this man Jesus did. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to punish him. I'm going to have him whipped. And then I will let him go. And the crowd shouted out, crucify him, crucify him. And so Jesus was whipped. And the soldiers mocked and they laughed at him. And they whipped him. And he was filled with pain and filled with suffering. So much pain and so much suffering that we as human beings cannot imagine or can fathom. But they didn't stop there. They took a crown of thorns and they put it on his head. Can you imagine how painful that must have been? And then they made Jesus carry his cross, suffering pain, immense pain. Indeed. And then they drove the nails through his hands and they nailed them to the cross and they nailed his feet and then they lifted him up and there on the cross in the midst of all of that intense pain and suffering that Jesus was going through, he lifted up his head and he cried out, Father, forgive them. Can you imagine, in the midst of all of that pain and all of that suffering, he was thinking not of himself, he was thinking about you and me. He lifted up his head and he said, Father, forgive them. For they don't know what they are doing. And that Friday around 3 o'clock he died. He died in the midst of pain, in the midst of suffering. He died. They took him down from the cross. And since the Passover, the Saturday evening, was approaching, they placed him in a tomb quickly. And they sealed him with a stone. And then we get to today's gospel. For you see, without understanding the great sacrifice that Jesus made for you and for me, we don't understand the impact that Easter Sunday has for you and for me.